Welcome to the fifth episode of the 2024 GCE Mathematics Paper 1. If you haven't watched the other episodes, I've just pinned them in the comment section below. Alright, today we are going to start from question 14 and the question reads, in the diagram, P, Q, R, S are points on the circle with center O and PQR is 68 degrees. Okay, so angle PQR is 68 degrees. Then TRU is a tangent at R. So they are saying TRU is a tangent at R here. So this is the tangent. All right, the first question says find angle POR. So they want you to find angle P O R this angle here okay so to find angle P O R which is this angle here you can see that uh, this angle here is at the center and when you look at this arc that I've drawn it's pointing up like this again when you look at this angle that is on the circumference here it's also pointing the arc is also pointing up like this okay so to find angle P O R because this angle is at the center, we're going to use the property that says an angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So meaning for us to find this angle, we need to multiply the angle on the circumference by 2. So we're going to have 2 times 68 degrees and this gives 136 degrees. All right. So this is angle P O R. The next question says find angle P S R. Angle P S R. So they are talking about this angle here. So B, they want you to find angle P S R. Okay, angle P S R is this one here. Now, when you look at this shape that is inside the circle, this shape has four sides and because this shape has four sides it's a, we call this shape as a cyclic quadrilateral because it's inside the circle so for us to find angle PSR which is this angle here we are going to use the property that says opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees so meaning we are going to have 180 degrees because when you add these two you should have 180 but out of 180 we have been given 68 meaning for us to find this other one we are supposed to say we are supposed to say 180 minus this okay so minus uh, 68 degrees so because this is paper one you need to do this 180 uh, degrees uh, minus 68 degrees like this so here we're going to borrow a 1 then here we remain with a 7 so we have 10 minus 8 is 2 then 7 minus 6 is 1 then 1 minus here there's nothing is 0 is 1 so we have 112 degrees so meaning Angle PSR is equal to 112 degrees. Right, the last question says find angle PRO. Angle, angle PRO. So they are talking about this angle here. Now, how do you find this angle here? This length is equal to that length, meaning here we have an isosceles triangle. So the properties of an isosceles triangle is that if these two uh, lengths are equal, it means even these two base angles are also equal. So even this one, so this angle is equal to this angle. All right. So since they are equal, we can give, let's say, a variable A. Let's give this angle A. So if this angle is A, it means that this is also A because base angles of an isosceles triangle uh, the same are uh, equal so for us to find the value of, of a we need to use the properties of 
a triangle to say the angle sum of the triangle add up to 180. So if you say A plus A, then remember this angle here, we found that it's 136, okay, 136 here. So if you add A plus 136 plus A, we should get 180, okay? So we're going to say uh, A plus A plus 136 degrees, you should get 100, 180 degrees, okay? So here we're going to have 2A plus 136 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So here we take away 136 degrees on both sides, 136, okay? Then here we're going to remain with 2A. This has become a 0 because 136 minus 136 is a 0 is equal to 180 minus 136 is... 44 degrees all right to find the value of a we are going to divide both sides by 2 so a is equal to 22 degrees so in the question they haven't asked us to find a but they are asking us to find angle p r o angle p r o this angle which is also a so we are going to conclude and say, therefore, uh, angle P R O is equal to 22 degrees. All right. So this is how you answer questions on circle theorems. Let's just write the answers that we found in the space provided. So at A, the answer we found that it's 136. So we are going to write... 136 here 136 degrees then at b we found that uh, the answer is 112 and at c the answer is 22 so 112 degrees and 22 degrees